Well, here's a bizarre story out of Hawaii. It sounds like it was ripped right from a Hollywood spy movie script. A DOD contractor and his wife behind bars, accused of living for decades under the identities of two dead Texas children. And now federal investigators are working to determine if they were actually KGB spies in disguise. News Nation's Marky Martin is live in Texas. So, Marky, you got an exclusive interview with the sister of one of the babies whose identity was stolen. Yeah, we did, Nicole, and you'll hear from her in just a moment. She called it an invasion of emotions. Uh, but yeah, this is a couple in their late 60s. However, investigators say they have been living for decades under the identities of these two children, both born at the same Texas hospital, who died as infants. So you compound identity theft with other accusations that they could be spies with the KGB. And this is the story that keeps getting stranger. I saw FBI in one of their shirts. An early morning raid in a quiet Hawaii neighborhood has neighbors shocked and concerned. Me and my daughter, we were kind of like shaking, just thinking, you know, they were nice neighbors. Investigators say the couple who lived in this house, Walter Primrose and Gwen Morrison, may have been Russian spies. Court documents included these photos of the couple dressed in what appears to be KGB uniforms. The couple also charged with stealing the identities of Bobby Fort and Julie Montague, two Texas babies who died in the 60s. They're accused of using those identities to obtain passports, driver's licenses, and eventually jobs. Primrose served in the Coast Guard with a top secret clearance from 1994 to 2016 when he retired and took another job as a defense contractor. Military experts say the information he had access to in both jobs could be beneficial to foreign enemies. Enough information disclosed publicly can enable the enemy to put pieces together and that can tell us a lot of or tell the enemy a lot of things about us troop movements, what our general design is, what our strategy is. Both are being held without bond. An attorney for Morrison would not answer questions about the stolen identities, but said her client is not a spy. I can't address that at all. My client just wants everyone to know that she is not a Russian spy. And in an exclusive interview, News Nation spoke with the sister of one of the identity theft victims. That sweet little sister of mine uh, who I, I, you know, like I said, did not get to know. But I love her. Tonda Ferguson never even got to hold her baby sister, Julie, who died at just three weeks old. She and her father, shocked to hear her sibling's identity has been in use for decades. To those people who did that, I don't think I have words for a response because I could never, ever justify or imagine the action. Nicole, it's just an unbelievable story. Now, court documents have not indicated why the couple assumed these different identities for all these years. They did have a detention hearing today, but it was rescheduled for next Tuesday. So we should know more sometime next week. Nicole. Uh, Marky, this story is absolutely unbelievable. Is there any word uh, you know, on how the husband was able to work for the U.S. government for more than 20 years using a stolen identity? Yeah, at this point, we have not heard that piece of the story. But as you heard in the package, you know, uh, to have all of these jobs, he has all of this sensitive information. But at this point, we don't know how he moved from job to job, stayed at them for so long. That is something that will likely come out as this story continues to unfold. Still a lot of questions that need to be answered. Absolutely. And, and my producers are telling me we've just found out he is being held now without bail. So. We will find out more. Marky, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.